his rook, and then he'll pounce with this really nasty check. Wow. Clever idea, that right? Is, that is sneaky, David. And look at that. The knight has been forced to retreat and all the way back. Wow, look and at this. The bar's gone to plus eight for white. He can actually <laughs> completely destroy Wesley. So now the white queen's gone on the attack. Checkmate's coming. Yeah. I mean, the big threat is actually to jump in with a knight to the f6 square, and then it will be mate. Unstoppable. Um, OK, is there anything else that uh, Wesley can do to stop one of the white's knights jumping in? No, no, no. there's nothing. Um, not only that, but white's rook is threatening to come up and take a pawn, uh, <laughs> attacking the black queen. Both of the white knights wow. are jumping in. And white is attacking with a queen, two knights, a bishop and a rook. Black's just defending with one knight. And the bad news for Wesley is... We're only on move 17. This is going to be in the miniature history books. We've never seen Wesley crushed no. like this. No, we've, seen, we've, tour, we've really. seen him. We've seen him fall for an opening trap. Uh, and maybe did that once or twice. Yeah. But uh, 17 moves flat, completely flattened. What on earth wow, is this Jordan Van Forest? He was a big underdog. He is a big underdog in this quarterfinal matchup. He uh, impressed yeah. us in the first okay. game with the black pieces. This is just incredible yeah. stuff. OK, well, yeah, we have incredible. some moves. He's actually taken the pawn with a bishop. And uh, now Jordan Van Forest's knight has come forward, threatening mate. Bishop retreated and knight takes pawn and... It's Wesley about to resign. Body language. Like wow! Wow! What a shocking result in the second game in the quarterfinals. Jordan Van Forest 